Hello, everyone. Jeff here with A Taste for Whiskey. And again, we are continuing our conversation with, with Bob and Darren, a.k.a. the Scotch Father. And I guess we're going to call you Junior. <laughs> I'm an apprentice. Apprentice. He's the apprentice. a Scotch Father apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys have had a great trip. You're doing the Space Side um, tour, if you will. And you are you have been to uh, Tomatin. As you said when you were making fun of me. No. <laughs> we weren't making fun of you, no, Jeffrey. No, 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 no. Are you sure it's Tomatin? No, but it's Tomatin. I'm just I'm just parafr I'm just saying <laughs> what Darren we, said. We got it. We, we got, got it. Joffrey, it's Tomatin. Tomatin. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't believe us. He doesn't believe us. I don't know what it is now. <laughs> So we were we were at Tomatin and what else yesterday? And uh, you went to uh, uh, Ben uh -oh. Riek. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's uh -oh. Leo. Hey. <laughs> they told me I couldn't come into this to this recording, so I'll leave. Ah. Now. <laughs> He's got his pants off, so we told him. This we told him it's a family show. <laughs> so you were at uh, Ben Riek, and then the other one was uh, was it Baldalic? Where'd we were go? supposed to we were supposed to stop at Balmanac, but we ran out of time because we spent too much time at Tomatin. Ball, I've I you know what I am not familiar with Balmanac at all. I have yeah. not not we, at all. We aren't either. We didn't get there, so yeah. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's okay. But today you were at so you went to uh, Noctu, uh, Glendronic, and Ben Romick. Absolutely. And, yep. and those, I think, are all three big winners in my book. Uh, as you know, Ben Romick is great. I love Glendronic. And Nogdu, I did not know until I saw your pictures that uh, uh, Eno Enoch is part of Nogdu. Right. So, that's correct. Right. So, so yeah, the, I, the, name of, the name of the distillery is Nogdu, but Diageo that owns No Can Do told Nakdu that they couldn't have a name so similar to No Can Do that they had to put out their whiskey under some other name. True story. Yeah, yeah. Really? Right. Yeah. So Nakdu is the name of the distillery, and they only had Nakdu 12-year-old out for two years, and then they had to change their name to Anak. Anak. I, you know, it would almost be fun to have one of those uh, knock do twelve year bottles now, wouldn't it? it yeah, yeah, it would be. It would be. Yeah. So, but it was a really what was so unique about the distillery? Yeah. Th so this was. It, it well, first off, this is not a place that is open to outside. So oh. this is David Wood, and yeah, so this is really David Wood kind of working uh, to, to to set this up. So we get there, and this is a place where people come to work. These people were having fun. They, they it, it was it was such a fantastic environment, and the people were having fun. They were uh, doing great things. They all work together, and best of all, um, they integrate um, dogs into all of their practice. And what we did is the first that I know of. I think this is the first. first I've ever been to one of these. You know how there's all kinds of pairings out there, correct? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you pair. Like the chef pairs with food and all of that, you know, the perfect pair. Yeah. You got a better perfect pair. This was it. And we'll, we got pictures and the whole thing we'll send of the first ever scotch tasting with dog. We literally had a dog on the table. Not, not, I, I don't mean like near the table. One of them on the table, others around us. So we did a dog scotch, scotch tasting pairing. Pairing. Yeah. Pairing. That is, so is there, is there just dogs running around everywhere like sheep was in Isla? <laughs> the, uh, yeah, take that. The, the, the owner, the, I mean, the, the general manager, we're there with uh, one of the other fellas showing us around. The, the general manager, the, ma the distillery manager is walking down the hill with three dogs and these three dogs see us 
and they haul ass. It's, it's <laughs> like nobody ever goes to this distillery and they see new people. These dogs it, race down, leapt, jumped in our arm. It was great. Yeah. It uh, was great. That was like a little bonus that you weren't expecting. Absolutely. And, yeah. And, and and then this was before we go to the tasting room. You go in the tasting room, the dog just runs and jumps right on top of the table. Yeah. <laughs> See yeah. that may and they were technically the experts, you know that, right? So, yeah. right. And, so and he's wagging his tail and knocking <laughs> glasses over yeah. and yeah. you know, and and then again, just this 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 atmosphere for this tasting, they literally just handed us the bottle and were like, Right, put hit pour it, help yourselves. They didn't pre-pour anything. Nope. The distillery manager puts the bottle down, says, Yeah, pour what you want. And of course, somebody pours a uh, bill Zenizek for. Yeah, Bill would be proud of me. Yeah, yeah. And then we and then we finished that bottle. He goes, "Oh, you go out some more." So he brings out another one. Pour what you want, and yeah. Oh, this is great. I mean, that's what makes those experiences even better. You know, by going yeah. with David yeah. Wood and having that opportunity just to just to you know, first of all, it's a distillery that's not open up to the public, so you know you're right. able to get in there and and have the opportunity to see things that that you you know a lot of people don't get a chance to see. So what? So of the uh, uh, of the Anok, what was your favorite? For me, it was the eighteen-year-old. Yeah, is that is which, that by a, the way, you can get in the states, and and we won't mention the name of the place. Um, that's sort of like a total something or other, but maybe. ILG could get this there it, because it's available at other places. The Anak 18 is delicious. Oh, ah. yes. and you know, you it, know what we've always been saying: they'll get those 18s while you can, because yep, the price or the availability. Right, right, oh, right. So from there, we headed to Glendronic, which you know, Glendronic. Don't need to say anything. No. No. And I saw in your tasting, you had two fills, uh, two fill your owns that was involved in that tasting, as well as the 21 year. And then I saw one that was uh, an, an unaged. No, it was 26 years old. We had a 26 year old, a 21 year old and two, two bottles that were filled. Oh, and we happened to go home with four between the two of us, four of these. Oh my goodness. Oh. 15 year old Glendronic Kiek finishes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> that is all. So was it was it just absolutely fantastic? It, yeah, it was it, it, it's kind of mind blowing what they put. I mean, they, let me put it this way. They kind of start. They started with saying, "Here's the ho hum." They start with Parliament. Yeah. Okay. Twenty one year old ho hum. That that's, <laughs> that's what they started with, and then brought the rest of the thunder after that. Yeah. Wow. So that, that that's what they opened with. That right. that is such just, a great just discovery. Kind of, just warm yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. And then David, of course, stopped uh, along the way, and we had uh, uh, Talisker. Par parlor? Parlor. Par 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 yes. Something called uh, Talisker Parlor from his box of dreams. We had yeah. that. That was delicious. I've never had that. So that sounds, well, you know, I'm a big fan of Talisker as well. So, you know, and what a great, you know, Talisker being kind of a, what, an island, you know, that's a nice way to kind of start your uh, your morning on your day, rather. And then kind right. of leading up to the, the, what we all like is Old Pulteney. You know, Old Pulteney right. goes with everything. Well, Old Pulteney's coming later in the week. So That's exactly uh, right. Stay, come. stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And, and then, then after Glendronic, we headed, uh, we stopped at Ben Romick on the, on the last stop of the day. And again, that's new to me. You uh, introduced me to Ben Romick uh, during my uh, birthday celebration and introduced me to a 15-year, which honestly – in a blind, I, I thought that was a Glendronic 18. It was rich. It had those really dark sherry notes. And so I can't imagine what it was like to visit that distillery. Because, again, I feel like, you know, you really picked, you know, when you're looking at Glendronic and Ben, ben Romick, 
you know, two distilleries that in my mind kind of are similar, you know, from that perspective, from just that dark yeah. note. The only, the only thing different about the two of them is Ben Romick all has a little hint of smoke yeah. and under yeah. an undertone of smoke and peat. So it's actually a little bit heated space side scotch. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we the, had, we we're we're having we're gonna have a drink off probably at some point yep. when we get back there because I got an air dried Ben Romick. Yeah, and and everyone knows you 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 really can't appreciate air dried. You want kiln dried. So I have the exact same thing, but kiln dried because kiln dried because that's what people really want. No, they want air dried. People want oh, air dried. Oh, so the competition is on, huh? You got it. Well, we, we may have to get the board of directors together. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And we don't let people who voted for Mortlock 16 decide which one's better. Now, now that one, I could, that would, that we one could we agree, agree on. We agree on we that. Agree on. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, listen, guys. So tomorrow you're heading to Spayburn and, okay, another distillery that I don't know anything about. And that's, help me. I don't know this one. Is it uh, Ballin, Ballin, uh, Ballandow? I have I can't pronounce the Bal Balandalak. Balan Balandalak. Okay, Balandalak. Balandalak. Balandalak is a distillery that is now, I believe, seven or eight years old. I visited the distillery the first week they were doing new make. I wasn't there when the stills were first fired up, but that week that they did, and yeah. now they have their first spirit in the bottle. It's either a seven or eight year old, and we're going there to taste the first spirit available to the public from Balladolic. And mm -hmm. supposedly they have these, only place these are for sale is at the distillery. And of course, we'll be buying a couple of bottles and bringing them back. That's fantastic. Yeah, that sounds oh, very- I want to add one thing. Darren is on a pace to bring home a hundred pounds of scotch. That's his goal. He wants to bring home a hundred pounds of scotch. Yep. So average five five pounds a bottle. That's we're that's figuring true. four. Yeah, we're going with four four pounds so a bottle. Oh yeah, seven hundred. He wants to bring home twenty five. <laughs> yeah, you can do that because uh, that five pounds is around seven uh, fifties. So yeah, these are seven hundreds. Exactly. Exactly. I, I think it's doable, Darren. Yep. 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 And, and, we're, and we're on pace. We're on pace. He's on pace. Matter of fact, Charity, his his wife is in the is in the other room now, blowing up the sleeves to protect the bottles. Where we're on here being buffoons <laughs> with you. So, <laughs> well, the place we're at, believe me, has enough room. Yeah, that's true. To store everything. This uh, place is gorgeous. It is. It's beautiful. Oh, it is. I've seen the pictures are. I know I as you know, just being a part of that experience last year, the pictures don't even do justice. I know. I know. Yeah. And then the, the last place we're going to tomorrow is uh Dunfail, which is another new distillery yeah. that's owned by an independent uh bottler. Ooh. And we're going to go there and they don't have anything in the bottle, but they're setting up a tasting for us of a range of their uh, what they've bottled independently from a variety of different space side distilleries. So that's oh, what we're going to have there. That is, you have a, you're going to have a great time tomorrow then. Well, guys, I tell you, thank you so much for uh, joining us. And uh, I'm hoping to get these videos out um, as soon here within the next couple of days. So these won't necessarily be live, but I, hopefully they'll be out before y'all get back. Um, okay. Just to, and we'll, yeah. tr we'll try, we'll try Wednesday from old Pulteney. Yes. To do uh, on location live from Old Pulteney broadcast. That would be so cool. Just, just, just so we can see. It's, of course, that's a distillery now that we like. We, you know, our new tagline for our channel is Old Pulteney Seventeen goes with everything, and you can't yeah. get Old Pulteney Seventeen. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> it does. Well, thanks, Jeff. Good to talk with you, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Good you to see you. Jeff. Good to see you, and we will see. We will look forward to talking to you on Wednesday. Great, buddy. Yeah. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.